folks, welcome back to another episode of ATV, and this time we're doing something a little bit different. We've uh, stopped down to visit our good friends here at Bay Marine in Trenton, Ontario, and we happen to have the opportunity to test out the uh, 2020 Riker Rally Edition 900 triple. Um, same motor that they use in the Sea Dews, same motor that they use in the sleds. So it should be quite the trip. Um, yeah, I don't know what to think. It's kind of a new experience, and I just figured it would take you guys along for the ride, so... Yeah. I don't know what else to tell you about it. We get a little walk around of it. Well, there it is. So this one, as far as I can understand, uh, comes with a couple added options, like the skid plate here. It has an upgraded suspension. Got a different style of rim on it, and a different tire, a little open gap here. Suspension adjustments right here on the fly. Get your one, two, three, four adjustments by the look of it. Producing what? Uh, I think 82 horsepower at 8,000 RPM and 58 foot pounds of torque at 6,500 RPMs. CVT pulls well, man. Anything over 5,000 RPM, the thing's a rocket. Just ripping. So, yeah, I guess we won't waste any more time. We'll uh, get it out on the road and see what it's like to uh, drive one. Can Am Riker Rally. And there's your signal lights, okay. Horn, I got a horn. So kill switch off, fire up the old fuel pump. That's locked down. Twist your forward. What are we doing wrong? Foot on the brake, All right. So, I actually feel like the brake. Maybe should be about there. I'll pull over here and then you can go in front. Oh yeah, right, emergency brake. Ooh, she's got pep. I don't know if I should be in rally mode out of the gate or if we should be getting used to this thing. Where do we go? the color combo this thing looks awesome in the black and red she definitely has the ATV flair to her boys Let's it break out. We're down to one bar. We're just making it. Let's it break out a little more than I thought it might on the asphalt. I 
was worried it wouldn't let it at all, you know. Doesn't seem to be the case. Good, the handling's good. Whoa. Emergency brake. Killer, just like that, man. Fuel tank. Just like that. And we'll see what she holds. Twenty bucks, Ash. What a wicked time. That's great. I really enjoyed that. A lot more than I thought I would. I mean, it was going to be fun, but it's like sitting on a sled because the handling is just out of this world in comparison. Things rather grounded nicely and it's got amazing suspension. Suspension is pretty impressive overall, man. These wheels are neat. Check out these pins. This thing's a riot to ride. Can't wait to check out some of the footage, too. This unit has been an absolute shit ton of fun. It's testing tune tonight down in Shannonville, so I wouldn't mind going out and seeing what the quarter mile, what it'll do. Got a little bit of a loop planned here today. A nice one, actually. Out along the water. We're gonna run out the Picton Way. Then we're gonna loop back down and around to Shannonville and try to hit the track and see if we can get a quarter mile time out of this thing. Compared to what we were running with the X3 last year to 13.5, right? So, very curious.
shot right there. There we go. the right stop. Bracelet. The sticker. Um, well, I'd rather you didn't write it because this type of plastic, it'll stick, eh? It will. It might. It doesn't matter, right? And they'll probably put like Can-Am or something. Yeah, they could just put, yeah, BRP or something like that, right? Okay. Well, that'll be mint. Thank you so much. Gonna waste any time, we're gonna jump right in line. Oh, there's a slingshot. I'd like to race that. That's perfect. I didn't even see that. You gotta go by yourself. Aw, oh, really? This thing's got all kinds of traction control. I can't go sideways. I know, but because of the key loop, the key loop control is pointing you back. Oh, there is no losing control of this. I wish. Okay, both you guys. Let's go. Thanks, Valor. Oh, 
awesome. So this time we're gonna try to contain that spin. We could definitely beat the F-150, I'm sure of that. We put three on it. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, that's slow. So, we spun the whole shit ton, right? So we can definitely dust off. We'll try the rally mode, and I'll try to roll into it much easier. And see what happens when we put it up against something here with a little more skin. But right now, the X3 will dust this thing. Well, like you say, though, you got to try to get traction that was brutal hey how's it going brother right on hey that's a new rally riker on the whole 60 foot so i gotta try to gotta try to get it to fucking gotta try to roll into it this time a little easier oh the slingshot we really got a creep on this thing Okay, 14.7, we definitely bettered it. We just got to get off of that throttle so quick. That's where it's at. I need to run that thing, man. We should run the two of them together. That's pretty wild, man. Stage them up. Dang. Dang. Gotta get out of the water. All right, we got our three wheel race right on. That's what we're looking for. Something like that. So I think we ran the exact same time. We're just under 15. Yeah. Round two. You've let about five pounds of air out. Oh yeah, it's got a perfect squat on it now. It's got, a, it's got just a perfect squat on it now. <laughs> what you want to hear. Uh, well, that's what you want to see right there. Mm -hmm. Right. 
He's going to give her a little light, eh? Let the tire grab traction and get on the gas again, and you were ending your spin. Oh my god, it was awful. I spun through all so, three gears. Well, I can't tell you, man. I really appreciate you guys doing that. That's no awesome. Worries. I didn't even get your name, brother. Jay, Jay nice Job. To nice to meet you guys. I gotta head her home. Thanks again, eh? That was awesome. All right, last visit, girls. I'm going home. All right. The three wheelers. That's great. Thank you so much. Hey, have a good night. A 14.6 again. Okay. And he's running a 15.4. I didn't know they had a four cylinder engine in it like that, man. That's pretty cool. So check this out. He's got himself an Outlander. Where'd you get that? Hey, Bay Marine. <laughs> Take care, guys. and you're chucking some dust. Well, I just had a lot of fun there, man. That was great. You know, I think my favorite feature of this machine, well, they're not really feature, but uh, characteristic is uh, the engine braking, how fast, well, and the acceleration there in the mid end because you can get up to uh, quite a substantial speed and as you see oncoming car you can get off of it and it gets down it gets down to uh, with the engine braking and everything it'll drop speed so fast in a good way though to the point where you can have a lot of fun on the highway and not get into trouble because you can just get onto it get off of it and by the time you even see an oncomer you're going to drop probably 20k, 10 mile an hour instantly. And uh, thrust your body up, catch that wind, it also helps obviously, there's a wind break, but uh, yeah, I really like it. You just, you know, again, it reminds me of a snowmobile in that, in that manner. You just got that real quick torque, you just pull on it. And when you let off, obviously your momentum just comes halting, so. Yeah, that's probably my favorite thing, man. That's what makes it such a, a really fun whip around machine, you know? Lightweight, agile, maneuverable. So, yeah. That's my 
a take on it. Definitely one of my favorite characteristics of the machine.